Name, please. State your full name. You already know my name. It's Sue. Susan Snell. And you were born in the town of... Chamberlain, Maine. I was born and raised there. When did you first meet Carrie White? In grammar school. Carrie and I were in the same grade. I don't think I said a hundred words to her before this all began. Carrie, you turn that phone, please. I can't see. Tell us about the night of May 28th. About the occurrences that led up to the alleged event. Alleged event? Why do you keep asking the same thing over and over? You want to catch me in a lie? Is that it? The truth. We need the truth. I already told you what I know. How many times do we have to go through this? Until it makes sense. Until we understand. But you need to understand is that we were just kids. Kids trying to do our best. Oh! 
first time she's ever had her period. <laughs> It's hard to believe that any girl today could still be ignorant of the facts of life. That's just it, and when I tried to explain it to Carrie, she didn't seem to know what I was talking about. I mean, what are the odds? I thought a mother would have told her. And that mother of hers, ugh, always ranting how everybody's going straight to hell. Oh my god. Do you remember that time in third grade when she got down on her knees in the cafeteria? Praying on her goddamn knees with that Bible. And that dress, remember? Praying Carrie. Ugly, short, and scary. All her friends are uh, imaginary. As usual, Chris Harkinson was the ringleader. Well, no surprise there. But even Sue Snell was doing it. I'd expect a son like this from Chris, but Sue... All the girls were doing it. And I hate to admit it, I'm afraid I didn't, I didn't handle it very well. Well, you'll have to deal with it, Lynn. Read in the riot act. Make the punishment fit the crime? Oh, by the way, while I was trying to calm Carrie down, one of the ceiling lights exploded. Whole damn buildings falling apart. And that light bulb, did you love it? Ah! Her mother should have told her. Oh yeah, right, like her mother ever told her squat. Somebody should have told her. Like mother, like daughter. Carrie, uh, you can take the rest of the day off. You know what Norma calls her? Scary white. <laughs> I just call her dumb bitch. She'll hear you. So what? You care too much what people think. Skip gym the rest of the week, Carrie. Take study hall instead. We're all terribly sorry about this, Carrie. <laughs> Why do they find it so hard? 